In this video, we're going to show you a new analysis option that has been added to our product, Video Timer Pro. This option is the ideal tool to support your Lean and Kaizen initiatives within your organization. What we have here is a process that's already been analyzed in our Video Timer Pro. There are two operators involved, the assembler number one here, and if we scroll down here, you'll see we'll come to assembler number two. Now, each of the elements performed during this task uh, of cab assembly, as you can see at the top here, has been documented and broken into specific groupings of elements. And these would correspond to your value-added and non-value-added initiatives here. So you can see down here, I've got my activities. Under handling parts, I've got pick parts. And all of these options here have to do with the pick parts. Here's transportation of parts. Here's organization of parts and so forth. And if you go further down here, you can see now we get handling tools right here. And here are different pick tools, transport tools, and so forth. And then further down, we'll find the installing. And this is where we run into the value added activities. See the mark V here. Most of the other activities are marked with an N for non value added or an R for required but non value added. So, what we've done is we've analyzed the study. Each of the activities, as you can see here, has been identified as being non value added, required, non value added, or value added. If you look for the installing elements, you see some of the value added work content down here. Once you've recorded all your activities and they're organized in this fashion, so in here, you simply go to the summary option right here. Give it a few seconds and all the data will be summarized here. Then I simply come up here to my Excel export options and I click on the activity roll up. I can select to study one operator at a time or I can just leave it in the default select all here. I click on the OK. Give it a few seconds, we'll start to put the information out into Excel. Now what it's doing, it's using the same grouping that you've organized your elements into, and it's presenting the information to you. And uh, over here in the bars, you can actually see this is all the relative size of the time being taken for each of the activities. Uh, the orange color you see here is non-value added. The blue is required non-value added. See some green elements, those are the value added activities here. And again, they're all relatively sized so that you can easily identify what is the most important elements and the ones you should look at. The longer the element, the longer that particular activity is taking. When it finishes, it's then going to create a couple of pie charts that are the key to the activity roll up here. So here you can see the breakdown. So here you can see handle parts. Under that, we get pick parts, transport parts, organized parts. Those correspond to what you see over here. I'll go back to my data collection. Here's the handling of parts here. Here's the pick parts, transport parts, and organized parts. And here are all the activities under that. They are displayed to you in Excel over here. And this is the relative time over here. So you can see this grab screws, this element right here, is the dominant activity in the pick parts area. So getting the screws to support the operation. Down here, you can see the transport parts, moving uh, cab, which is required but non-value added, is the dominant activity and so forth. This is breaking down the exact structure that you defined in the video time study here as I go down through it. Now we go to the chart roll up and then it shows you visually how it's broken up the elements here. So you can see the dominant uh, task here is installing. You can point to any activity here and just click on it once and it will drill down. So in this example, I'm going to click on the handling parts so I can click on this and then it breaks down the handling parts into the handling prep, the pick parts, the transport parts and the organized parts. Those again are the main groupings that you saw down under the handling of parts. Uh, we can click here on the pick parts. It will then drill down to the individual activities. And the color code here, this is a non-value added color. So all of these activities are non-value added. So I can then click on the grab screw and here are the four events that were recorded for the grab screw. Now we've actually linked in the videos here, so you can just double click on this and it will play back the video for you for that particular activity directly in Excel without having any input from Timer Pro. So it's an ideal way for anyone to look at the different activities that are being performed, easily identify which are the dominant ones, the ones that you might want to look at, and then also just play back the videos just by double clicking on the activity, it will bring it back up for you here. You can then go back out here and look at the chart roll up again. Uh, you can look at any of the other ones. So we wanted to say grab cap cable ties. We can just click on that. Here are the grab cable ties. Now notice the scale here. 
it's all relative scales. So the, the longest activity in that group, in this example, it's this one here, it's 3.57, it's out here. This one down here, it's four. This one down here, it's 22. We're trying to make it easy for you to see exactly the ones that you might want to look at. So you can identify particular improvement opportunities right here. Now, when you go back to the chart roll up, you can go back up by clicking on the label at the top here. So this is pick parts. I click on that, it takes me back up to the handling parts. I click on that, it takes me back up to the main activity again. And then I can go down to the installing. Now the installing is where most of my value added work content is. So you can see the groupings we had under installing and we can click down into this. Here you see the non-value added work in orange and this is the value added work content right here. We can click on that. It will take us right out there and show us the work content in that area here. Now, feedback from LA users also said that they wanted to give the supervisor an immediate way. We are assuming the supervisor is only interested in maybe looking at the non-value added work content. So here's a value added chart roll up. And here you can see the breakout, value added, non-value added. So it's looking at the data, but in a different way now. So I can click into this. Of course, all the charts now are actually non-value added. This is non-value added colouring here. So he can drill down into the handling parts here and see what's involved here. So we might go to pick parts and then under pick parts, he finds the grab screws and he can see the same grouping that we saw from the other way. And he can just double click again and play back the same video directly here. So you can look at this and see how he can maybe improve that and eliminate some of that non-value added work content. So you see what it's doing here is double click on an activity here. It's calling up the activity that you click on in the activity detail area. So if I was to go grab light here, I'm just going to click on that once. It's going to go into the activity detail and it's going to show us those actions that are involved in grab light here. And it's organized in sequence. This is the actual observation number in the video time study. So you can go all the way back to that if you like. But just having instant access to each of them allows you to easily move around and navigate and look for opportunities here. Again, like before, you can click on the label at the top and it will take you back up the way. So instead of drilling down, you're going back up the way. So this one report here, the activity roll up gives you the ability to analyze any job for value added, non-value added improvement opportunities uh, for your lean and Kaizen initiatives.